I'm going to try to do a quick, clean version of um, any two elongated videos where um, I think the lunar eclipse is going to be the white horse event, and then the solar eclipse is going to be the red horse event. In Donnie Darko, first of all, an IPEC goat. Here's the Dark Knight Rises. You got the 322 coming up on March 22nd. Skull and Bones, 322. Donnie Darko, which is Donald's Dark and Right Eye, which the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises <laughs> from his Dark and Right Eye. So in Donnie Darko, this is the night where the, the jet engine crashes. The movie begins and ends with it because there's two Donnies. There's a Donnie that lives and there's a Donnie that dies which is basically your twin Trump symbolism. Now, when they show you Donnie's room, it lights up orange, which is lunar eclipse colors. Okay, that's just a signal for a lunar eclipse. And it's at nighttime, so you see the orange Nightfall, indicating orange moon, uh, in indicating lunar eclipse. And our lunar eclipse is coming up on the 25th. On the 25th, 325, we have... This is in the movie Spectre. Q opens up his laptop during towards the end of the movie when things are very intense. And you see the 325 with another symbol for an eclipse, the darkened moon. But it's the moon. The eclipse is on 325. And it's fused with 254. 911 was on day 254. 911 was really about the antichrist rising bible verse because september was once the seventh month julius augustus was added in and pushed them all up to october octagon octopus october was once the eighth month november the ninth december decade decameter was once the tenth month so 9 11 was really 7 11 and most countries write it the other way they would write it 11-7. They write it the 11th day of the 7th month. And 11-7 is the Bible verse about the Antichrist rising from the pit. It's a spiritual rising. It's the pit where the spirit world is dwelling in at the abyss, at the North Pole, which is the center of the circle of the earth. It is frozen over. That's why you have Disney Frozen or you have Mr. Freeze, Santa, Satan, Satan, Santa, North Pole. It's the center of the circle of the earth where the abyss is in an iPad goat. It does show him rising from the ice cold pit. So there's the snow because it's the North Pole. So he's being programmed through the technology, the ghost in the machine. He's just basically he's just being possessed. That's what the mark of the beast will be. It's total human body possession. So you see all the snow and there's he's rising up through that ice. The abyss is ice. Santa, Satan, Satan, Santa. Disney's Frozen, and you're about to get Ghostbusters Frozen. The Antichrist is Batman told to a comic book character, or Batman is the Antichrist told to a comic book character. All the villains are characteristics of God, like Jesus spoke in parables. So you got the Riddler, but here you have Freeze, Mr. Freeze, because he has frozen the abyss over. In 
IPEC GOAT. It shows here the partial lunar, again, orange signifying eclipse, but it's not totally eclipsed. So this guy's summoning the spirits because the abyss is being opened. Now this is a long way away from him rising from the pit. But this is just like the book of Revelation. It's the same story being told over and over in waves and layers. So the guy that they told you did 9-11, now they're showing you the next 9-11. IPEC GOAT video is an AI produced video. They did make it, give a front man as a name to it. I forget his name, some Frenchman. Labrieve, Labrieve. And, but the AI did this and Bush was in the classroom with the students, the kids reading The Pet Goat. So this video is called I Pet Goat 2. And so Bin Laden summoning the spirits. All the world's a stage. But you see the partial lunar of 325. Which again was on the Spectre laptop. 325 fused with 254. 911 was day 254 of the year. And it was really all about 117. What come what come, what came out came out of it? One World Trade Tower. The trilogy, Lord of the Rings. Fellowship of the Ring are the members of Mystery Babylon. The next movie is called Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. That's Twin Trumps. And then the final movie was Return of the King, and that's One World Trade Tower. Or in Revelation 17, the eighth, which is of the seven, because it's a twin body double. One of the twins is the eighth which was the seventh. In James Bond, No Time to Die, he was 008 there for a while. They just didn't say it because the lady was 007. They gave him his 00 status. She kept asking, what's his number? Nobody ever answered her because we know it was 008. She later said, I want Bond to have back his number because the eighth is of the seven. They played Revelation 17 basically verses 10, uh, 10 and 11 from that or 11 and 12 from revelation 17 they played it right out for you there just like lord of the rings does with its with their last two titles which new york city played out for you the twin towers to one world trade tower so The Dark Knight Rises gives you the 322, which would be the eve of the event. So it says 322 right there. And after you see the 322, you get the explosion. I've showed in other videos where the explosion in No Time to Die in the building, where the outside of the building, the glass blew out from the explosion, showing you the uh, another type of twin tower explosion or jet hitting the tower. It was the same type of explosion. It was at the 323 timestamp in the movie. It was at 32 minutes, 31 seconds, 3231, 323 coded with the big explosion in the building with the glass breaking in no time to die 323 was also coded so right after 322 you get the explosion so that could mean 323 because right after the explosion it's going to cut to 86 to be 86 is to eliminate to get rid of agent 86 
Agent 99, the 99th day is the solar eclipse. Donnie rises on the golf course on the solar eclipse. I think that's Red Horse. I have to check my volume because every time I pause, the AI did reduce my volume in a previous video on another channel. And I proved it because it was nice and loud at the beginning, then it got very low. So it lowered the volume on its own, Zoom did. And so Donnie, there's your orange again, lunar eclipse. Interpret it. And then Donnie, orange lunar eclipse, there it is. Nice and big for us. And then Donnie is going to rise. And he's going to eclipse right there. You see the eye in the background for the right eye. And later on in the movie, that it shows purge, purge with that eye, purge, purge. It, 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 the, the film breaks back and forth to the word purge, comes in the eye, and that's the same eye. <laughs> when it later does the purge purge. This is early in the movie. It does the same thing at the very end of the movie. It shows that eye and the word purge all through it. And he's going to eclipse the moon. You see all the orange. It's nighttime. So this is the lunar eclipse that Donnie rises, which means he goes and the dark night rises, came out two days after the dark night, four, four, four years apart, but two days apart. So I think the event is March 23rd. And if that date passes, we'll just go on to other clues. But this would be him rising. Now, the clock had a 905 on it that I showed in Donnie Darko. And we're really big on May 9th, rising on May 11th. And we're also really big on going down 421, rising on the pink full moon. But right now, we're so close to this date, I really want to focus on all the clues and breadcrumbs that really tell us going down 323, rise on 325, lunar eclipse, spiritually. And then World War III would begin. So he would, he rises twice. He rises, lunar eclipse, that's white horse where he becomes possessed by Satan. And then he rises on solar eclipse, which we're about to show you in Donnie Darko. So because he, he rises twice, this is him rising on lunar eclipse. This is a video I made, so I'm obviously running my mouth. And then Donnie will rise. So, and there's all the orange again. And again, he's eclipsing that light. And there's the eye. So he rises on the 25th, the lunar eclipse, March 25th. And then let me check the volume because it could just drop, apparently. Then he rises on the golf course. Let me make sure our volume is good. They're going to say sun, sun, speaking to him as the sun god. But, you know, they're going to be calling S-O-N, S-O-N, but it's really S-U-N, S-U-N, because Patrick Swayze is going to come up and eclipse the sun, which is the solar eclipse that makes the X across America. I guess it's coming up. So, 
Sun. So the sun is bright. He calls him sun. See, Andy Christ is another symbol for the sun god. But he's talking about sun, sun, also twofold, two way goes, solar eclipse. Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko? What the heck's going on here? And there's your eclipse. There's your solar eclipse. Patrick Swayze comes up. What the heck's going on here? And he eclipses the sun like Donnie eclipsed the moon. Is it Donnie? It's Andy Darko's kid now. And then he's got written on his arm 28 days, six hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That's the day the world will end. That was written on his arm previous, which was lunar eclipse time. 28 days takes you one day before the pink full moon. So if that's really signaling that's when the event and everything's going to go down is April 21st and he's going to rise on the pink full moon because I've done videos on that too. There's plenty of clues that offer that. But since we're so close to this 323, uh, you know, we're going to lean into that right now since it's the closest. White horse. Lunar eclipse, red horse, solar eclipse, because he would be rising as Antichrist to go run World War III, who can make war with the beast. Nobody's going to know he's alive. Well, the masses on the earth won't know until he, surprise, seemingly has returned from the dead to show the earth that he was running World War III, who can make war with the beast, and he's here to save the earth. From one out of four people dying. Collateral damage. You're like, well, why would he tell you he's going to save the earth if he's the one responsible? No, he was, he will say he was fighting all of the evil. And he won. And he's ready for peace, peace and safety, peace and safety. Then sudden destruction will come because people worship the inner. Uh, the image of the beast and they will be possessed and the destruction will then be to the church. But that's my best guessing right now at the next date would be the 23rd of March. Rise on 25th white horse, spiritual rising, possessed by Satan. Then you get Total solar, which is red horse. Because the white horse says he goes forth conquering and to conquer. And then the red horse is war. Then you have black horse, pale horse, famine and death, which are the results of white horse, red horse. So out of the four horses, two are the Antichrist in action. The other two are the people of the earth living the result of the actions of the Antichrist. This is all the will of the Lord, of course. The Lord's in charge. Just has Satan playing the bad guys in this movie. The God of the Bible is the writer, director, producer of this thing called life. And he even starred various areas and cameo appearances as himself playing the role of God the Father, Old Testament. Seemingly all upset, playing whack-a-mole with the Israelites. Getting all frustrated when that's just the role he's playing. He already ordained every bit of it before the earth was formed. All the stories in the word of God, it says the word was before anything was. The script was written. So John 1, 1 through 3 is married to Isaiah 46, 10, declaring the end from the beginning. Declaring the end of time, Revelation, to the beginning of time, Genesis. Declaring the end from the beginning, from ancient times, that are things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, I will do my pleasure. This is 
his movie. Satan does the evil. That's Isaiah, but God's created the evil because he's created Satan. He's created evil. That's Isaiah 45, 7. Um, let me read those real quick. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. He creates the darkness. He creates the evil. He also forms the light and he makes peace. He does it all. He just has Satan and that world do what they do. Satan falling, third part of the angels uh, falling. That's written into the script, folks. Proverbs 16, 4. The Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The day of evil is the abomination of desolation that kicks off the great tribulation. People will believe he's risen from the dead. All goats will be handed over to the strong delusion, believing he's been risen from the dead. False prophets performing lying signs and wonders, miracles. The earth is completely supernatural. Jesus said it'd be a deception so great that if it were possible, his very elect sheep would be fooled. But it's not possible because there are the, his elect sheep. But that's how powerful and supernatural lying signs and wonders is said in 2 Thessalonians 2. Revelation 13, 13 says the false prophet makes fire flash down from heaven to the earth and the sight of men, just like Elijah did, the prophet. The earth is just sup simply supernatural. All goats are going to believe it. There's never been free will. There certainly won't be any then. All goats will be handed over to believing it, and they will worship the image of the beast. They will be entered. Their human bodies will then be possessed in a symbiotic relationship with the fallen angel community. And they will begin their journey killing sheep quickly, rapidly. That much, I'm sure, everything here is, I'm sure of, but as far as the 23rd, it's my best speculation. At this time, if we pass the 23rd, 24th, 25th, nothing's happened. We'll go on to looking at the solar eclipse only because that's when he did rise on the golf course. Another rising on the solar eclipse then of course we have another solar we have another lunar eclipse 14 days before uh, a solar eclipse uh september and october 2nd and october 2nd is the donnie darko date when donnie woke up on the golf course that was october 2nd the movie flashes october 2nd really big on the screen but i think that's the abomination of desolation if he goes down now if he goes down in the spring, that whole 322, this whole X across America eclipse, we just have to be diligent in thinking that it could be going on here very soon. But if this all passes, each month we'll be looking. This is the hobby we do, biding our time, but it keeps us focused on what's coming. All these little Robert Langdon from the Da Vinci Code looking at clues, that's just to keep us focused. The Trey Stokes Daily Bible Study Channel, that's what's important. That's where you're getting the truth in God's word. Books should be out soon. All right, love y'all.